Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.4 from Sadiku Books. So the question is given the circuit in figure 3.53 calculates the current I1 through I4. Okay, maybe let's set our ground first here. Let's set our bottom most node here as our ground. So this is the reference node in which the voltage here will be zero. Okay, now let's label our node. We have another two nodes here. Let's name this node here as V1. And then let's name this node here as V2. Good. And now let's assume the direction of the current for I1, I2, I3, and I4. We already given that for this branch, this is going down, this is going down, this is going down, and this is going down. And for the current source, I think I just follow the arrow here. So this is going up. And this is also going up. And for this branch here, this is going to the left. Good. Okay. Now we can do KCL at V1 and KCL at V2. So we have two nodes, right? So let's do KCL at each node. KCL at node V1. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in, I think there are two currents that goes in. So this current is going in and this current also going in. From this current, we have 6 ampere. Okay, and from this current, we have 3 ampere. So I have 6 plus 3. And all the other currents is going out. So that will be equal sign. This current here is V1 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them which is 20 ohm good and then this branch here we will have v1 minus this not here which is 0 minus 0 divided by what is it 10 okay now let's do some arithmetic here. 6 plus 3 is 9. And then V1 minus 0 is just V1. Then divided by 20. And then plus V1. Yeah, because V1 minus 0 is just V1 divided by. Okay. We can multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of the denominator here. Okay. So 9 multiplied by 20. So I will have. 180 and then 20 and 20 will cancel each other so we'll have v1 and then 10 and 20 will cancel into 2 and we multiply 2 by the numerator here so i will have and i will have 180 is equal to 3 v1 and we get the value of v1 here which is 180 divided by so we will have V1 is equal to 60. The unit is volt, right? Because this is ohm and ampere. So I think we don't need to do anything with the unit. So this is V1. Let's highlight this because this is an important value. Okay, that's good. And now let's do another KCL to find out what is V2. So let's do that. KCL at node V2. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Uh, the only current that goes in is from this current source here, which is 2. Okay, good. And all the other currents is going out. So this current here is 3 ampere, so I will have 3 here, and then plus this one here is V2 minus 0 divided by 40. V2 minus 0, the resistance between them is 40. And then for this one, I also have V2 minus 0 divided by Okay, good. Now let's do some arithmetic. 
let's move 3 to the left hand side so I will have minus 1 here and then V2 minus 0 is V2 so I'll have V2 over 40 and then plus V2 over 40 okay V2 over 40 I think we can just multiply both sides by 40 right okay so I will have minus 40 is equal to V2 plus V2 or mm, 2V2 is equal to minus 40 and so we can have V2 what is V2 minus 40 divided by 2 minus 40 divided by so we get the final answer of V2 here. V2 is minus 20. And the unit here will be 4. Okay, and let's highlight this because this is an important step. So we have V1 is equal to 64 and V2 is equal to minus 20. Let's calculate what is the question. Calculate the currents I1 through I4. Okay, let's maybe let's clean up the slide first because we have this full. Okay, so far we get the value of E1 and V2. We can calculate I1, I2, I3, and what is I1? I1 is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 20. And what is V1? V1 is 60. So 60 minus 0 divided by 20. So I will have 60 divided by 20. And so we will have I1. 60 divided by 20 is 3. Good. And now what is I2? Yeah, same logic here. So I will have V1 minus 0. But this time the resistance between them is 10. 10. So we'll have 60 minus 0 divided by 10. So we'll have 60 divided by 10. And so we will have I2. I2 is 6. Ampere. Good. Maybe let's highlight that. I1 is 3 ampere. And then I2 is 6 ampere. Okay. Now what is I3? Yeah. We still have the same logic here. I3 is V2 minus 0 divided by 40. So we will have minus 20 minus 0 divided by 40. So we will have minus 20 divided by 40. So I'll have I3 is minus 0. Let's highlight that. And then the last thing that we need to find out is I4. I4 is V2 minus 0. This time the resistance between them is 40. So we will have minus 20 minus 0 divided by 40. So we will have minus 20 divided by 40. So we will have I4 is equal to minus 0. So we already have all the answer that is asked by the topic. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.